How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here, bringing you some footage from another OTP Hockey Night game that we had. Now this was from January 3rd I believe, I think it was game 1. Now, I'm playing the right wing, I brought you guys game footage of me playing as a goalie, a defender, so I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how I like to play the right wing, okay? Uh, this was a good game, it wasn't necessarily a competitive game, at the, at the end you could tell the better team did win, but it, it had a, a, I don't know how to say this, a hockey smoothness to it, or flow, sorry, yeah, that's the perfect word, a hockey flow to it, alright, it just felt like a hockey game, there wasn't offsides happening every two seconds, icings, penalties, alright, it had a flow to it, everyone was playing their position, and I really want to talk about this, yes, I'm going to talk about the gameplay a little bit, I'm going to talk about, you know, how I like to play right wing, and I'm going to mention other players as well, but before I do, I really want to talk about OTP Hockey Nights as a whole, in general, okay, because... What happened the other night, it's, I don't, I really do not want it to happen again because, oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll slow it down, I'll start right from the beginning, okay, I'll let you guys know exactly what happened. So, the first three games, no problem, no problem, recorded the whole games, had some fun, some good highlights in the, in all three games, you know, I picked, I, I picked this first game to do footage, but I could have picked all three, they were all outstanding games, okay, they all felt like hockey games, they were less than 20 minutes long, good games, okay. Then it all went downhill from there, okay? We had about four or five games in a row where, boys, I hate to admit it, but I stopped recording halfway through the second period. You know why? Because I realized nothing was going to happen. There was no way in hell I was going to upload a whole game of, of that crap that was going on, right? And I hate to be, I hate to say crap, but it really was. It felt like an actual OTP lobby where it was just 12 random people who didn't really know how to play the game and who were just being selfish. That's what it felt like, okay? Now, I'll explain it. It was I don't care if necessarily you're not the greatest out there. I don't care if other people are better than you. I don't care if you're a Christmas noob, okay? It, that doesn't matter to me. But I do expect you to play your position. Absolutely. When I have a center, okay, first we'll talk about the center position, okay? Because this is what really frustrated me. For some reason, we had no lack of defenders, so I was playing the wing a lot. And my God, the centers were pissing me off, all right? This is why. This is why. You wingers, everyone who plays the wing and you play with uh, 5v5 or 6v6, you know what I'm talking about. Say the puck is in our zone, just like it is right now, and the two wingers are covering the point, guys. They're on the blue line. Our defenders get the puck, and all of a sudden you're on the boards waiting for that breakout pass, right? The defender passes the puck on the right side, and all of a sudden the center is cutting right to your boards with you. He's suffocating you. He's all up in your grill expecting the same breakout pass that, as the right winger or left winger, you should be taking. But he's, he's up there, he wants that pass, or he just doesn't know better you guys know what I'm talking about that is so frustrating the center should be playing back with the defenders third man out of the zone third man back into the zone the third defender okay he should not be up it in the neutral zone looking for a breakout pass and that kept happening and because he's doing that our defenders are getting uh, laid out to dry or uh, sorry hung out to dry and there's no there's no flow to the game long passes interceptions offsides the center is going offside when the wingers are taking it in that oh my god boys <laughs> I, I like i i have so many examples of little things so wingers you know what i'm talking about when centers are doing that right so i expect everyone to be playing their position okay i don't care if you're going offside because of honest mistakes i don't care if you lose the puck because of honest mistakes i don't care if you try something and you lose it right we're going for highlights but if you're consistently out of position because a you're trying to get something or b you just don't know better i, I hate to be rude boys but we don't want you in the otp hockey nights all right because the otp hockey nights it's not like there are only 20 people who are trying to get into this game all right yes when i only give three or four hours uh, of uh, notice yeah we only get like i don't know 40 or 50 people to fill the lobby but when I get an official one going, that there's enough people in there and there's enough people who actually know how to play the game and who want to play the game the right way and who want to have fun. It's not fair to them that they lose their spot to somebody who doesn't even know how to play the game or who's out there and they don't know that they're ruining it for everybody else, okay? I do this for you guys. This is for you guys, okay? okay? But I should be able to have some fun as well, right? And when I'm recording, I don't want to have to go back and watch these games the next day and waste uh, 30 minutes of my time watching a game where no highlights happen, okay? That's why I stopped recording halfway through the second because it's a waste of my time the next day. I'm not going to do it, all right? 
I, I'm, I'm more than happy to record your guys' games as long as it feels like a game of hockey. Again, I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. It's not mistakes that worries me, or it's not mistakes that frustrate me. It's play, it's players playing out of position who, who consistently go out of position. If you're a defender and you want to take one chance, you know, you're, you're up in the play and you get caught up in the rush and then a breakaway happens, whatever. But you sure as hell better take care of defense for the rest of the game. You know what I mean? That's what that, I don't have a problem with that. But if you're a defender, you get caught up ice, two on one, goalie saves it. Next rush, you get caught up ice, breakaway, they score. Okay, I don't want you in the game, boys. Positioning, positioning, positioning. Because we have enough honest people out there who want to come into our OTP Hockey Nights and play the game the right way. Again, I do not care if you're not that good. I do not care if you're a Christmas noob. But I do expect the minimum. And I do expect you guys to play your positions, okay? Center, you play in the center of the ice. You don't play on the boards. Unless you're in the offensive zone. Then, yeah, cycles happen and things happen. On the breakout, though, you're always in the center. And you're the third man out of the zone. You should be helping your defenders. Feeding the puck up to your wingers. You should not be a third winger, okay? There's not three wings in hockey. And defenders... You should be always back there. Yeah, you give up a two-on-one once, fine. It better not happen again. It happens twice, okay, yeah, you're, you're taking chances, fine. But it cannot be a consistent thing, all right? It cannot be a consistent thing. There's two. Di there's there's a fine line between you know playing offensively and then playing careless. There's a very fine line. As a defender, I know I got cut out of position as well. But for the most part, I'm always back there. And you need to be consistent. You're not just playing for yourself. You're playing for the 11 other players who are in the same lobby as you, okay? So again, I'm going to ask you guys. If you don't even know how to play the bare minimum, if you don't know how to play your position the right way, boys, I hate to be rude, but don't join the OTP Hockey Nights. Don't ruin it for the other players. And don't waste the recording time that I have to do. Because you're just taking away highlights and videos that we can make to satisfy everybody, okay? I could have had, I could have made three or four three or four more videos with a crazy soccer commentary in the background or hockey commentary in the background if we had some more highlights but sadly we only had three games for, uh, games worth of highlights that's it that's it all right so there you go i got my point across um it's <laughs> an another thing too yeah i want you guys to have fun this is for you guys again it is to have fun all right but it's not the kind of fun where we come in and we just we talk and we party and we have a fun time. Yeah, I want you guys to talk and have a fun time, joke around. But you have to you have to produce on the ice. You need to be, you have to be not pissing off your teammates, okay? It's not about just coming in and, you know, have, making jokes and having a good time. No. I want people to come in and and pass the puck, play their position, then joke around, okay? That's how we all have a fun time. Okay? <laughs> Boys, I know that there are players out there who have only played 2v2 and 3v3 and all of a sudden they come into our OTP Hockey Nights and it's a completely different game style. I understand that, but you guys have to be wary. You're playing alongside with 11 other players, okay? You need to always remember that. There are 11 other players and there are also people in the lobby who are waiting for the game to end. So you're going offside every two seconds, prolonging the game, taking penalties, fighting every two seconds, prolonging the penalties, uh, prolonging the games. All right, fighting actually I don't really care about because people want to fight, fight. But needless penalties, asking to fight during the game, taking roughing penalties or interference penalties, man, that's got to stop, boys. It's got to stop. So I'm, I'm going to stop there with the uh, OTP Hockey Nights because I am going to make a video in the future uh, showing you guys how to, all the new guys, how to get into the game because I know I haven't done that in a while. But boys, honestly, I'm going to let you guys know right now, if the game is not good and it's there's no flow to the game, I'm stopping the recording, okay? And maybe, maybe in the future, because I always like to see, I'm a, I'm a glass uh, half full type of guy, I always like to see the, uh, the light and everything. Maybe if we can't fix this problem, because, you know, as our subscribers go up, sure, we're going to get more newbies in the game. You know, you can make that argument, fine. Maybe I'll have to make a series where <laughs> I, I do upload these videos where players are just playing horrible. And I'll actually put your gamer tag when you make a bad play and we can have everybody laugh at you. I won't tell anybody to, you know, file complaints, none of that stuff. Because we're not going to get your guys' Xbox Live account suspended for uh, playing bad. No way in hell we're going to do that. But you know what? If I'm going to be recording and all I record is bad plays, time is money. You know what I mean? Footage is money. I, I'll put that footage to use. I will, boys. I'll make some funny. I'll put some, uh, I don't know, uh, some funny music in the background. And, you know, what, what's that guy Benny Hill music in the background with you guys making mistakes? I'll put your names and everyone will laugh at you, okay? I might just do it. So... That's basically it for the OTP Hockey Nights. Please, yes, it's for fun. Yes, we're there to have a fun time. But it all starts with how you play on the ice, okay? We're not going to have a fun time 
even if you're the funniest guy in the world if you don't know how to play the game, okay? So, yeah, we're going to have fun. We're going to joke around. Bring a mic too, man. Jeez, I want these OTP hockey nights to be full of people with mics. I had a bunch of games last night, nobody talking. Just, just, oh my goodness. And they were the games that were horrible. So it's like, okay, I can't even joke around with these these guys. And they're playing horrible. It's just, oh my god. So, again, don't care about skill set. Just play your freaking position, okay? And if you don't know how to play your position, go into OTP hockey or a regular OTP and learn. And don't take the chance away from people who want to play, okay? All right, so geez, uh, that's my that's my rant pretty much. I'm sorry, it was just so frustrating, boys. Okay, because like, I want to get highlights for you guys, but oh my, like I literally had to stop recording four times in a row. I, I and I want to play like eight or nine games because they go by quick, right? But man, I had to stop. I I gave up. I was like, nope, I'm going on the battlefield. <laughs> literally did that. Oh my god. So I haven't really been talking about my uh, position too much in this one. Um, there's not really too much to say about a winger. Honestly, there's so many things or different styles of playing the wing, uh, and it really depends on whether you're whether or not uh, you're a 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, 5v5, 6v6 type of player. I know for a 2v2 type of winger, you obviously should always be hugging the boards and waiting for your computer to get it to call for it to get yourself a nice you know two on one. That's obviously the best thing to do 2v2. Yeah, you can say it's cheap, but you know, hate the game, don't hate the player. Um, 3v3, kind of the same thing. But once you once you start introducing defensemen, you need to kind of come back and help your D out just a bit more. Oh, we got a penalty shot, boys. Look at this. I remember this. The Gordy Howe. I'm officially labeling this my Gordy Howe. I first used it on Christmas with the Gordy Howe without the helmet. And look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. That move's great. I don't know what it is. It's just the goalie. Oh, I wish someone could do it to me so I could see what it looks like as a goalie because it's one thing to know what it looks like as a shooter, but... Some moves just get human goalies to do certain things. It's weird. Like Datsuk's moves on, uh, on uh, remember the Datsuk, uh, what's it called? He doesn't have a name for it. No, no, he just used it in the shootout. He used it on Turco and Nashville, right? I don't know what it is. The goalie just flies off to the left, though. It's just, it's something about what he does. It's reactions. It's something. And the same thing for penalty shots in this game. There's, there's certain moves that you can do that will always drag the goalie off. I love that Gordy Howe, I must say. You guys can try it too. Gordy Howe. But you got to call it the Gordy Howe, all right? Here we go. All right, moving it up. Again, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, different styles for winger. There's so many different styles. It really depends on uh, your, your like what your team does, how you play. There's a playmaker winger, and then there's also a sniper winger. But there's also a power forward winger, guys who go to the outside and drive the net hard. A playmaker is somebody who maybe, see what I'm doing right now, hugging the perimeter, not really attacking the middle. See, I'm looking for a pass, waiting for somebody there, springing yellow now. Yeah, I remember. That's that's more of a playmaker winger, where you're staying to the perimeter. The power forward winger, you know, he uses his big body and holds down the A button to bust to the middle. And the sniper is a guy who makes quick turns and shoots it from out of nowhere, you know. So, as a winger, there's a lot of different options. For me, just make sure your forecheck is strong, alright? You have two defenders and a center for a reason. If the puck is up behind their net, or in the neutral zone, there's not necessarily a 100% forecheck. Don't necessarily get to a point where, you know, you go flying at him and all he has to do is move to the left and he gets around you. But force him to the sides where it's obvious where he's going to make his next pass. You know what I mean? If I'm the right winger and he has it, if I force him to the left side, my whole team can see that and they'll adjust defensively. It's, it, there's, oh, there's a lot of things I can get into for a winger. I'll make, I'll make a full winger video. But yeah, there's... There's so many different styles for winger. I like to be a, 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 a more of a bit of a, a playmaker winger. Just stay into the perimeter, you know. And look at this, people trying to fight me. Good God Almighty! You know it's okay for fighting if you do it after the whistle because you're not getting a penalty. But boys, don't don't try to fight someone during the whistle, okay? Remember, there's other people out there who are trying to get into the game, who are trying to have fun just like you are. So, you know, don't ruin it for other players, right? I know this whole video I was pretty much talking about the OTP Hockey Nights, but that's only because the OTP Hockey Nights, they're fun, you know? They're great, I love doing them, and I don't want them to get ruined. I don't want them to turn into a regular OTP lobby, okay? Christmas noobs, all right? You're more than welcome, but go learn the basics, okay? Look at that positional arrow, play defense if you're a center, okay? And just learn the basics, learn the basics. Practice on hardcore, that'll help your passing, and learn the basics, that's all I'm asking, okay? It's all I'm asking. Everyone's more than welcome to come. And there's going to be another OTP Hockey Night video that comes out showing you how to get into the game. And we're going to actually introduce a few more rules just so we can get 
more players into the game in one night. All right? So there you go, boys.